What is going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. Proud to say that today's video is sponsored by Gap. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. A wise man once said, if you tell a joke and you laugh at it, you know it's good. So obviously I'm missing a tooth. I explained this a couple videos ago. Uh, my tooth actually got knocked out completely back in high school about 10 years ago. And the doctor at that time just put it right back up in my head. The whole thing came out. Uh, just shoved it right back up in my head. And uh, he said in about 10 or 12 years, you'll need a more permanent solution. Here I am now, 10 years later, got the tooth taken out, got a screw put in my jaw, and we're on our way to a more permanent solution, hopefully. I am out ice fishing once again, trying to get some redemption from last time. If you guys watched the last video, I got skunked for the very first time on my channel, did not catch a thing. We're at a different reservoir. In fact, this reservoir is in the middle of um, just right in the middle of a desert. I see a guy down there, he's pulling one up. I just saw him run over to his ice hole and jerk his rod. Yeah, he just, he's got one on the ice. Look at that, boom, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign, especially since I spent 24 hours on the ice last time and didn't get anything. We got the sled all loaded up. Actually, this is my second load. I've got a spot down there on the ice. Let's get down there, let's get fishing. All right, so I've already drilled one test hole. We're at about 15, 16 feet right here. So kind of what I'm gonna do, you guys can see, there's like a sandy point right here. Got some guys fishing out there, other folks fishing out there. We're gonna kind of just run a line from shallow all the way to deep. Just, we can have five holes. I'm gonna put one a little shallower, probably a couple more shallower, a couple more deeper. And we're gonna just kind of gauge what depth these fish are at. Drop the first tip up down. These are just little homemade tip ups I made. If you watched my videos before or followed me on Instagram, you've seen how I made these. I do all kinds of stuff on Instagram. In fact, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway later in this video. So be right watching for that. Um, but you can follow me on Instagram. I do all my giveaways through Instagram. It's highadventure underscore videos. And then I show all of my hillbilly inventions and stuff like that. We got more to show you guys here in just a bit. There we go, a little piece of red tiger worm and just a little split shot. That's gonna go straight down and sit about six to 10 inches off the bottom. So if you guys watched my last video or follow me on Instagram again, you guys know what this is. This is my automatic ice fishing rod jigger. This one, we've got a jig on. We're gonna throw a little mealy mealy action on this. All right, that's about a foot off the bottom. That's just shaking the butt of the rod, which is in turn shaking the tip of the rod automatically jigging it for us so we'll see if we get anything all right guys we are spread all across the fruited plains here i haven't set up camp yet just because uh, i'll kind of want to see where we're going to get fish if i need to move or you know if there's a specific hole that maybe we start catching fish out of so don't want to get the tent and everything set up yet until we kind of know where the fish are until we can locate them hopefully oh there's a bite oh he's chasing it Come on. Got him. Got him. Yes. Sweet guys. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on out. Hey, there we go. Okay, it's not a piggy, but it's our first fish. That's more than we caught last time. Probably about eh, six inches, seven inches. Not very big. Caught him on a new jig that my good buddy Tyler hand ties by hand. This is called Tequila Sunrise. I think I called it Tequila Sunset. And or Tequila Nights or something like that. I think I was thinking of Talladega Nights or something. I don't know. But there you go. Thanks, Tyler. So one of the reasons I'm keeping this fish, normally I wouldn't. He's only about you know, six inches long. Uh, number one, I finally caught a fish, hallelujah. But secondly, um, this reservoir actually has so many perch in it that they want you to keep as many as possible. It seems like I heard somebody say like, they're like, like they, they estimate like 7 million perch in here or something like that. It's nuts. So when the population gets so big, you don't get very many big fish. So they want you to try to just keep anything and everything to try to thin the herd out a little bit. That way, when the population starts to go down a little bit, you would then hopefully start getting some bigger fish. I see something else down there. Come on. Come on, baby. Chase it. Got him. Got him. Nice. Another one. 
another one. In the words of DJ Khaled. Here we go. Ooh, wait, this is fighting pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? This has to be a trout. This has to be a trout right here. Oh, guys, it just popped off. Oh, it just popped off. Shoot. Oh, man. It took a good run, and then it popped off. That was probably a trout. That was probably a trout. That is a great sign, though. That is a great sign. About, about 10 minutes after I caught that one, pop another fish. This might be the hole that gets the tent right here. All right, guys. Still just have the one fish. Uh, I've seen a couple groups leave. I think what I'm going to do, I have these five rods all the way down. Missed one on the tip up. Missed a nice one jigging this rod and then uh, caught the other small perch. But I've been here for about two hours and that's been about it. If I'd caught like four or five fish by now, I'd, I'd probably be like, yeah, let's just stay here. But since we've only caught the one and missed a couple other ones, I think we're gonna go ahead and make the move. We're gonna go, kind of go bold. Wouldn't take much. We'll just go on the other side of this point. I'll catch you guys when we're on the other side of the point. Guys, 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 our tip up's up. I'm just getting over here, getting set up. Oh man, we missed it. We missed it. I'm over here. I just got to my other spot. Put this flag down, got my automatic jigger going. And this flag, I was already tipped up. Dang it. Well, that's a good sign at least. Check this out. Guy was here before me. Caught a nice, probably about two and a half pound sucker fish. That would have been a bummer because that pro he would have probably thought he had a big old, big old trout on or a, <laughs> the next record perch. Then to pull that thing up, that would have been frustrating. Guys, we're getting a bite on this one. We're getting a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Got him. On the automatic jigger. Yeah. Oh, there's a trout. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. Oh, it was a trout. Oh, he just came off on the tequila sunrise. I looked over at this and it normally just bounces up and down. And I looked over and it was like, it was like doing like that. It would like pop up and it was like giving a little bit. Oh man. It's a little trout though. Probably about 13 inch bow. Dang it. All right, let's get a little mealy on this guy. Get him back down there. Shoot, we almost had our first fish on the automatic jigger. That would have been epic. All right, well, I think it's time to get camp set up. You guys can see behind me like a big old fog bank of snow getting ready to hit. So let's go ahead and get this tent set up while we can still see. Guys, guys, we got a flag up, we got a flag up. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there he is, whoa, he just smashed it. Got him, see what it is. Oh, it's a big old trout. Check this out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, look at that. Nice. Ooh, on the tip up. Woo, all right. Check that out. That's probably a good 13 and a half inch trout. That's real fatty. A real fatty, look at that. I was setting my tent up over there and all of a sudden I saw the flag go dink. And he just crushed it. That's awesome. Sweet. That's called supper right there. I'm gonna have to get the pliers to get that out. But it's nice, guys. We caught supper. All right, so camp is set up. Got the tent and the cot out and everything. I'll show you guys that here in just a bit. I decided, though, I'm gonna come out here and fish before I am confined to the tent for the rest of the night family size pack of chips ahoy we are in business ladies and gentlemen mm. well got him yeah got him <laughs> mm. just showed up and pop no he got off again are you kidding me man i laid into him too are you, oh come on you guys saw that i stuck him Unreal. Unreal. Oh, I think the flag's up. It is up. It is up. Oh. Dang it. 
Moose to butt on the tip of course, like right. I'm thinking about bringing it all in. Alrighty guys, I think it is officially too dark to be out here. I could barely see that my flag had gone up on that last bite. I mean, it could have been several minutes. Could have gone by for all I know. What I need to do is like rig a bell onto the flag portion. So when it tips up, I'll get a little jingle indicating that, hey, you got a fish. All right, guys, here we go. Let me show you this. This is the party tent right here. <laughs> All right. Check it out. I got Christmas lights, LED Christmas lights set up in here for our lighting. It's like a big old party, man. Woo! Anywho, uh, I got the Mr. Buddy heater right down here. Go and putting in some work for us. Also have our tent here, all our bedding, and an ice hole. We gotta keep fishing. I have to say, this is really comfortable in here. We're gonna go ahead and close all the windows up and the door up so we can keep the heat in. Uh, but this is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Like these lights, like that's all the light I need in here. There's plenty of light. So my power source for the lights is just this Roby. Um, it's a little converter. Oops, I just turned it off. Hold up. There we go. It's got a couple of USB plug-ins there as well. And I just run it off those batteries. I have several batteries with me. And uh, so I'll, I could probably run these for like 16, 18 hours if I really wanted to. Um, I think each one of those batteries, it, it'll run this for like six hours, something like that. So I just need it long enough until it's bedtime, which bedtime's in about four hours, three hours or so. So it's like seven o'clock right now. So here's our fish down here. So, hmm, I think what I wanna do, this guy's so small, look at this guy. Look at that, just frozen solid. I think what I might do, um, hmm, I think I might cook the trout up. The trout's a little bit bigger. I do have other food and stuff with me. In fact, I have some pretty sweet, check this out. Campbell's Chunky Sirloin Steak. We're just basically like making our way through all the Campbell's Chunky Soups while I'm out here. I had like one or two different kinds last time I was out here. I guess I only had one. I had the pot roast, but I think we'll cook the trout up. We'll definitely keep fishing. I'm not sure if anything's gonna bite or night tonight or not. Let's go ahead and get this tent closed up. Then we can cook some food here. Look at me. Yeah. I'm getting paper. Do -da -do 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 -do. So for the last video that I made, um, a subscriber, Dalton, sent me a ton of stuff. And one of the things I wanted to use, but I didn't have a black light at the time, was this Mike's Extra Strength Shrimp Oil Glow Scent. I wonder if that really glows. But I have a black light here now. And I have a different jig. This jig is called the Joker Jig. Tyler tied this one as well. Check that bad boy out right there. It's got a purple body. Got the lime green with a white, purple, and orange head right there. Now check this. I've had the black light on it. Let me turn the lights off. Look at this. Do you see him? Look at that. Ooh! I wonder what that's going to look like bouncing around down there. Just dink, 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 dink. Just right along the bottom. I don't know. Let's see if any fish are, uh, see if any fish are awake to eat that. But let's throw some of this glow scent on. I'm assuming I probably just put the black light on this as well. Let's put it on the body. Gently massage into the body. If anything's awake and moving down there, you'll see it. So I think, where'd I put it? Oh, before we dip into the trout, I think for the appetizer, we're gonna do some Campbell's Chunky chili mac right there that looks really good i saw it in the store i've never seen this before beans macaroni pasta and meat hmm well it sounds delicious i've just got the jig down there i've been jigging it periodically i bring it up every five minutes and put it under the black light for a minute or two and then drop back down just to keep keep it all glowing and such Ooh, probably should have put that in before i heated the pan up Guys, 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 we got a fish down. We got one, we got one on the on the glow jig. Wow, wow, nice, no, no, no. Oh, this is, this is like a good fish, it's like a good fish. Whoa, yeah, this is a good fish. 
Whoa, look at this. Look at this. On the glow. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. It's gotta be a trout. Come on, nice and easy. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Big old piggy trout. Yeah, come on. Oh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! Check this out. Check this out right here. Oh yeah. Look at that right there. That's a good 18 inch trout right there. Oh man, oh. That is beautiful right there, look at that. Right on that jig, right on that glow jig. That was awesome. Woo! Oh my word. On Fly Ties Joker jig. And that glow scent right there. Joker jig. Got it done. I was stirring my mac and cheese and all of a sudden, whoa, 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 whoa. All of a sudden I looked over on the Vexar and I was like, whoa, hold up, hold up. I think something's by that jig. Looks like they're cruising around at night, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good 18 inch, probably about a two pound rainbow trout right there. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful right there. Woo, at night too, I wasn't sure. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I didn't have very high hopes for catching anything at night. Like it's dark. I didn't know if these trout would be cruising around or not. I've never fished at night before like this. Um, but <laughs> all of a sudden, he came up. He wanted that glow head. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that was epic. That was bloody epic. Woohoo! Woo, it's time for some supper. Got my jig just kind of sitting about a foot off the bottom. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure nothing comes and rolls up to it. I want to get after this mac and cheese. Chili mac and cheese. Here we go. Actually, no, let's say a quick prayer. Thank the Lord for our day. Mm. Blessed to be out here doing this. That's actually a really good combo. I would have never thought to do that. Wind hasn't hit yet. It's supposed to start snowing in the early morning. I have heard a few coyotes though. I actually went out and grabbed that sucker fish and threw it way away just because it's like, I don't want like a dead fish. Even though I know it's frozen, probably a little bit more difficult to smell. But I still don't want a dead fish sitting right outside my tent. We are in Idaho. We have uh, mountain lions. We have coyotes. I don't know how deadly the coyotes are. Um, we do have some wolves, though. I don't know if you're going to find wolves down in this area. Okay, I gotta go out and clean this fish out beside the tent. Oh boy, what do we got here? Oh, the snow is coming down, ladies and gentlemen. It is rather spooky out here, I'm not gonna lie. Got the frozen trout with us. I'm gonna do the smaller one, the first one we caught for now. Ugh. Surprise, mother goose. I'm not gonna lie, it's really spooky out here. So we're gonna hurry up and get this done. Okay, that was genuinely horrifying. It's just me and Micah, friend of the Yeti, the abominable snowman and anything else that's out there. I don't know why, but that was really heart pounding. On a brighter note though, guys check out these fillets. Look at that. Look how like orange that meat is right there. That's awesome. I thought that was just a little stalker trout too, but if that was a stalker, this guy's been in here long enough to get some good meat. That's gonna taste delicious right there. And that's not even the better trout. I mean, we still have this guy, which I think that looks like a steelhead of some sort, I don't know. Carve off a little butter. My butter is frozen. So imagine that being out on the ice and something freezes. Go figure. I'm gonna set it right just like that. Perfect. 
Then I'm going to add a little lemon pepper as well as some dill weed. I love dill weed. Dill weed's fantastic. I don't use it enough, I feel like. But dill on fish is just mwah. Finish it off with a little bit of salt. All right, we're in business, guys. Then we'll go ahead and flip it once and repeat the seasoning process on the skin side. All right, this is done. Look at that right there. That is good looking. Smells good too, that dill especially. Oh yeah, it's just flaking right off, look at that. So, I actually just had a bite. It's been about maybe an hour since I caught that trout. And I've been letting my jig just sit maybe about a foot off the bottom. And all of a sudden, I'll notice something coming off the bottom to go look at it on the Vexar. And I was sitting there watching it, and all of a sudden, I, I, just, I was watching my rod tip, and it just goes, boom, just like that. I mean, just, you, no, no big hit, no, boom, boom, boom. I mean, just barely, just, think, I mean, it, it, it's so subtle, so subtle. And it happened twice, uh, and the second time, I picked the rod up and just missed him. But we're just going to let this jig, I pull it up about every 10 minutes and put the black light on it for about a minute or two and then just drop it back down. Um, we're just going to let it kind of dead stick it down there. This trout is delicious, by the way. Holy cow. Guys, we got one. Yeah. Woo! Mm. Uh oh. That's on my back saw. Come on. Come on. Oh, he just broke off. Oh my gosh. Oh. He was wrapped around the Vexlar. He was wrapped around the Vexlar, and he just broke the line. Son of a gun. Guys, I, I tried to pull the Vexlar deal up, and there's all kinds of ice on the little float, and the line got caught in the ice, and just broke. I dropped, I, I, I put my jig on the black light one last time, because that's like 11.45 at night. I thought, ah, we'll give it one last shot. And I just, I dropped it down. It was just bam, just bam, just like two minutes after I dropped it down. And then I got all tangled up in my line. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that was so dumb. Well guys, it's about 12.30 at night. Haven't had, well, I did have something else come check it out, but he didn't bite. Hopefully get some redemption tomorrow. At least we're not skunked this time. Got rid of the skunk. I'm happy about that, but. Ah. So we have a little buddy heater pointed at us tonight. Um, one thing I always suggest um, is that this, the little buddy heater will actually shut off if it's not able to, um, get enough oxygen it's kind of got a fail safe on it Ooh, excuse me but i also bring along uh this is a little co2 detector and it's at about the level of my bed um and you can get those for like 14 dollars at home depot or lowe's and so that's just an extra layer of protection um just in case the mr buddy heater doesn't shut off for whatever reason i've got that to That'll start screaming at me if it, it detects any high levels of CO2. Forgot to turn out the light. <laughs> Alright, now it's good night. Good 
boarded, guys. Warm my head up here a little bit. That's better. <laughs> well, once again, a very, very uh, restless night of sleep. Everything was going pretty hunky dunky until about 1.30 in the morning that wind hit. And it took the cold to like a whole new level. <laughs> and it's still windy right now. In fact, you guys can maybe kind of see that side of my tent's like bowing in. I actually had to get up last night and run my bungee cord from that wall down to another anchor in the ice just to make sure it wouldn't like completely like come in on me. I see how cold it got. <sighs> how cold it is right now. 21 degrees. <laughs> That's cold. With that wind, it probably feels like 12 or 13 outside too. I guarantee it. Oh. That's definitely the coldest I've ever camped in, for sure. Even from last time. Last time it was like almost 30 degrees at night. It was like 28, so. Ugh, let's get it back into our long johns and our warm stuff. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, wow. Well, surprise, surprise. It's a frozen tundra. Guys, I don't know how much fishing I'm going to be doing out here today. It's just so windy. I don't even know, like... We might try to throw a couple tip-ups down, but that'd probably be about it. I'll, I'm going to be staying on my tent. The wind's probably a good 20 miles an hour at least. Whew, let's go back in. Let's go drop our jig down. Look at this. My ears. I'm going to take flight with this thing. Look. Woo -hoo! <laughs> oh, my. Let's get back in the tent. Oh, gosh. Whew. Get a jig in the water. Let's stay in the warm tent. Well, quasi warm tent. Warmer than out there, that's for sure. So the first time, which was the last time I went out um, camping on the ice, I got skunked. I know many of you saw that video. But what you don't know is, is that after I got off the ice, I went and talked with one of the guys at the local store. And I knew that there had been a tournament the weekend before I went out. And I think I went out on like a Thursday, Friday. So that previous Saturday, Sunday, there was a two-day tournament. And I'm thinking tournament like 50, 60 people, right? The guy at the store says, yeah, there were 450 people. 450 people rocking and rolling at that tournament. I talked to another guy. He said, dude, it was a tent city on the ice. And I thought, <laughs> no wonder I didn't get anything. <laughs> You're gonna need to let that reservoir rest for like two weeks after 450 people on it. Holy smokes. They said there was like no place to park people on top of people. They were putting people up in like the same hotel rooms. You had to share a hotel room and stuff. It was apparently just gnarly I, I i that blew me away i, I was just, i wouldn't have gone fishing there if i knew 450 people now i don't feel so bad not catching anything to be honest with you i'm like yeah that that would have been a tall task i don't care who you are uh, time to eat a little perch for breakfast along with some other things holy cow this dude is just frozen stiff. I don't know what I expected. He's been sitting on the ice all night. Oh my god, the head just, the head just like totally cracked off. Oh my. Well, there we go. <laughs> just two sides of the perch. I'm gonna keep the head though. Perch eyeballs are usually pretty good bait. Might try using that here just a bit. Start the morning off with some sausage. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than that in the morning. Unless it's bacon. But since they're kind of both the same thing, cut from the same animal. The other benefit to doing this is now my whole tent smells like sausage. There's a fish. He's right on it. 
right there. Just had another one. Just bam, just showed up right there. They're down there. Just super, super low key. All right, guys, we got them down there. There's a bite. Got him. Got him. Come on, come on. Guys, I tipped it with a perch eyeball. I tipped it with a perch eyeball. Oh, let me get this out of there. So we don't have another. This is a nice perch. Look at this, look at this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, Mikey. You know better than that. Oh, man. That was dumb. I know better than to lift a fish out of there. But guys, check it out. Okay, that was, that was probably a good 10, 11 inch perch. Check it out. Put a little perch eyeball on there. Boom, thumped it. Let's get it back down there. I think there were more, there was more than one fish, but oh guys, that was such a noob move that you just saw right there. That was an uber, uber noob move to try to lift the fish out of the hole. That was dumb. Do not do that. That's like what you do when you first start ice fishing and you've never done it before in your life. You do not just try to like, bully lift a fish out of the hole you reach down and you grab him don't do that at home kids that is not the way to catch fish all right so we've cooked some sausage now we have a nice base for our fish which we will give a light rinse and then we'll let that cook in the sausage throw a little salt on these guys here then i also have some Penzi Spices Arizona Dreaming Seasoning. This stuff is really good. I like this on eggs. Like, this is a good, like, morning spice. Throw another stick of sausage in there for some extra grease. All right, guys. While we let that cook, I am going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram of this bad boy right here. It'll probably be the day that I publish this video, go give me a follow, high adventure underscore videos. This is a mad bomber hat. Kind of like, well, it's exactly like the one that I wear here, except the outside is this brown leather. So I will ship it right to you. You have to be though in the United States uh, to participate just because shipping costs and stuff outside of the United States are ridiculous. Sorry about that guys. But if you would like to try to win this, the cold weather we still got plenty of months of cold weather especially if you're up in like alaska or you know well where i am we've still got like two and a half months still of cold weather so if you guys want to win this go there'll be instructions on my instagram on how you can win this bad boy right here mad bomber hat uh, it's got a little clip on the underside here you just snap it shut so you can keep it all uh keep it all together just like that but this is like a 40 dollar hat right here and I will ship it directly to you. Just as a thank you for all your guys' support. Here we go. And for the final course, a little perch basted in sausage juices. Now on the perch, I would not recommend eating the, the, the skin just because the scales are much larger and kind of get gnarly. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Sausage and perch in the morning. That's a man's meal right there. Mm. So I decided to go ahead and set a little tip up over here in the opposite corner. May as well double my efforts because the wind is currently blowing at 25 miles an hour outside. And uh, I just don't really want to go hang out out there. <laughs> Got our perch here. Pop the eyeball out. Got a little bit of perch eyeball right there. Don't know if my camera's going to really pick that up or not. but Melian perch eyeball. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't get much better than that. I always bring plenty of snacks because like right now, with a bite, like I haven't even had anything show up on my back star. So what better thing to do than just sit and get fat? Ooh. I love suspenders. <sighs> oh, I got like a little bass thing going on here. Most of them need dollar signs to make every day your birthday and every night. I need a fish. It's official. It's official. I need a fish. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. It is lunchtime and we haven't got anything. I've had several like follow ups um, on my Vexlar, but nothing has come to commit. We're going to have us 
a nice spot of lunch here. Tried mealworm, nightcrawler, switched the jigs up. I mean, I've thrown the whole kitchen sink at these guys this morning and uh, just haven't been able to connect with anything. Let's see, what does this look like? Oh yeah, look at that. That is amazing right there. Maybe the cooking will bring the fish in. They'll smell the deliciousness and be like, oh, wait a second. Oh, whoa, 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 I just about dropped that filet down there. Holy cow. We'll start with some roasted garlic and herb, a classic, a staple of my channel. Team Weber. Oh yeah. Well, the fish aren't biting. At least I'll be biting into some fish. A little extra lemon over that. Oh. That is so dadgum good. I'm gonna waft this down to the ice hole here. Come on, fish. Make you hungry. Now here. There's a nice crispy bit of skin right there. Look at that. It's have a nice crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Well, YouTube fam, I think we're gonna pack it in. No other fish. And uh, apparently this storm I just saw is going to start getting worse like as the day goes on. So I really don't care to be out here or get caught out here. In RuneScape terms, I'm still like fishing for sardines. I'm not dropping pots down and catching lobster. And I'm definitely not spearing swordfish. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay guys, before we go, I've got this big icy hill right here. And I have a sled. I think in the spirit of high adventure, I think we have to send it. Let's do this. Full send! Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, I will see you guys in the next video.